Hello, my name is Nicola Kirsch and you are watching a video about Mesa export. So we have my open. Don't forget that you have to set the project on the proper project work workspace. And then when it's done, we will just create a very simple object. So I just use the snap on the grid and just create this primitive. So That's all right. Now we just have to first assign a new materials. Fong E. It must be Fong E because it's important for the script to be that shader tip. So I have um, two T TGA file, file into this folder material source SRC and I will have to save my the same here so but before I just want to be sure that something is good with it so when you have your Fong E shader, just click here and you have to load the diffuse map. So just click here. We already are into material sources because of the workspace definition. So just use diffuse. It's better to have diffuse at the end for VTF edit to work. There's a lot of uh, issue with uh, VTF edit, but in some way it works. <laughs> well, open, and then display the texture. So we have the UV texture here. Maybe and display the grid, display the image, so you can see the polygon. Well, now this is all right. We can load the bump map. Dem file go here that's tab and load cube normal with the suffix underscore normal dot tg so well, if you want to see the result tangent space and use this but I dislike the, the render of the normal map into Maya. It doesn't reflect the, the final render in... Well, the texture is not perfect, but uh, it's just an example. So, what we have to do now is going to the Mesa shelf and use VMT attribute I'll show you what is happen and you have the cube here and go to a 
attributed guitar on the first node, not the shape, the first node, with translation, rotation, scale, information. Well, this is what has been added. If you want to remove them, you can delete, select them all, delete, OK. And so now the, the section is open. If I click on it, you will see it open just over your eyes all right we are on model so we use vertex click generic um, unlike generic could be only useful for monitor with very screen very well mm, now it's maybe the best time to save the scene and show you how and where you have to send save it so file save scene as default scene folder is set on model source is a requirement for mesa script but you must save your send file into send file I'm, it's better to use ASCEE -E format because uh, I remind me about a function that check the format and I know this one is safe well give it a name cube Yeah, save it. Jack, now it's all right. We can go to the SMD option panel. No, oh, there's a better things to do before. So just display the layer editor and just click on layer editor. This window is open now and just click ref fee layer. We we'll just create two empty layer. So now I need the outliner just to show you. Paycube one will rename it to reference. And I will duplicate it just pressing Control D or modify now edit duplicate is the same. So reference one will rename it as physics. Uh, now on the layer here just right click and click membership so it's open the relationship editor on the left you have the layer display layer and on the right you have different component so select reference and this is very important or the geometry will not be exported mm -hmm. you have to select the main node and the shape node not shape node for this layer now that is done you can see the the, the attached the component to the, the layer so idem with physics and select physics node first node and shape node close the file close the editor and then now we can save the scene again <laughs> it's always better to save 
time. So next step is just about the option to set here. Also you must be sure that Steam is open because Studio MDL require this connection. So you have a physics model and reference model so you check these two options. If you have if you have apply any modification on the channel scale etc and haven't freeze the transformation you can check it combine and mode the physics mode is always better to use because it will fix the mode group problem. Uh, there is no animation, but uh, a models require uh, idle animation, just one from idle SMD. So let's just check, uncheck it if you create your own uh, animation. Export texture is necessary to export and convert the TGA file to a VTF. Generate a new QC script will uh, create the QC script and also if you let it check if you uh, have made any modification into notepad editor and anything else it's preferable preferable to uncheck it to not overwrite your last gen change well compile QC QC, compute QC me means that uh, the final QC file will be compiled to, to the MDL format and you can check HLMV thumbnail may be good so now go to path tab and then you can check what is say on the bottom to be sure you will export into the right place and then click generate path and then now you have two paths here for the first SMD and QC path this is the name of the scene cube MA cube SMD. This is just a replacement of the the extension. So that's all right. Must be like that. And for materials, texture path. The path is always that one. If there is something else after material source, there is probably a problem. So when it's done. I will open the, the script editor so you can see what's happened on the side. I will click on full compile. Uh, wait, because the scene hasn't been saved with the last change in SMD info and for that reason it's necessary to oh save the file first i'm talking about this information you can see here from the outliner extra you don't have to touch anything here this is all the registered data value etc properties for the exporter well reopen the 
mess up panel and then just click full compile would be better with it. Just clean up it. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I think the camera just don't refresh on the background. And echo all is maybe in too much for reporting so f so i will click again if you refuse to open this panel again you can just click full compile and then the last setting are reused so you can see now the the process these icons open the, the project workspace so you can see the file and open game we'll open the game and now let's just see the cube if you want to check what has been done in real time you just have to open the model with half-life model viewer just click on it maybe a bit slow but uh, yeah and that's all right normal mapping is okay Voila, <laughs> and physics model, it's important, easy to add, load, everything, we could see all this detail into a different session, well, so, there are problems with the conversion of the generated file. So when you have HLMV open and you go um, I think I let the yeah can see the, the render just click up and it's open your model alright hope this help in creation